Hello everybody, it's me and this is your weekly angel card reading for the 6th through to the 12th of July. I hope you're all very well, I hope you're all keeping well and looking after yourselves and uh, we'll see what we've got for this upcoming week. This week I'm using the Archangel Power Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine and I have pulled us three cards for the upcoming week so let's see what we've got. For today, which is Wednesday, and tomorrow we have the Ace of Raphael card. Raphael cards are all about emotional situations, your emotional self, <clears throat> and Aces, of course, are all about beginnings. So you're about to enter a phase over the next couple of days of a really positive, fulfilling, uplifting emotional situation in your life. Yay! Um, Normally this revolves around somebody else being involved. Now, this could be romantically, uh, it could also be friendship, it could also be business acquaintance, but there is a feeling that someone new is coming to your life who is going to bring a lot of joy, a lot of <coughs> fulfilment, a lot of happiness and positivity and really all the things that you've been asking for and wishing for and praying for for quite a while. So it's a real feeling of uh, real positivity in your life. And I feel it's something that's been lacking for a while. You feel like, you know, things have been difficult, things have been tough. So it really kind of lifts your spirits and helps you to smile again. The other thing about this card is that it brings with it a lot of uh, spiritual insights. Your intuition is incredibly strong right now. Your intuition is giving you many hints and guides and little nudges and trying to lead you a certain way, uh, a positive way. Don't worry, it's nothing bad. So know that you can trust it. Know that you can really uh, listen to what it's telling you and know that it's going to be for your highest and greatest good. So just be aware of that over the next couple of days. Um, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we have the Two of Michael card. Now, Michael cards are all about being up inside your head, it's your thought processes, and certainly you are a little bit like an ostrich right now. There's a little bit of putting your head in the sand, or sticking your fingers in your ears and going, la, 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 I'm not listening, I'm listening, listening. Because you have to make a decision. A decision needs to be made on some level. And you don't want to make it because you're worried about upsetting people, you're worried about what other people might say or not say or what they may do or what not do. And consequently, you've decided not to make any decision at all. But, but by doing that, you've actually made a decision. By deciding not to stick your uh, flag in the sand, you're deciding to just not do anything. <clears throat> but things aren't going to get better my lovelies, until you do make a decision. This situation is not going to go away. This situation is not going to get better by itself. This does require you to, yes, you know, uh, look at the different options, the pros and cons, the facts, you know, if you can deal with the fallout, if you can live up to the decision that you make. But don't overanalyze to the point of doing nothing. Don't spend so long up inside your head procrastinating and overanalyzing things that, again, you're putting things off. Because, again, going back to the previous card, intuitively, you do know what the right decision is to make. If you were being honest with yourself and kind of what you need to do, you know what the right decision is. You know the decision that has to be made. You're just putting it off because you're worried about other people. But do you know, at the end of the day, if people get upset, they'll get over it, you know, they'll kind of move on from it and accept it and all that sort of stuff. So worry about what other people think actually is a complete waste of time because you can't control that. The only thing you can really control is how you feel and what you want to do. So you're just going to have to be a little bit brave on this one and know that things once you've made that decision, things will then be able to sort themselves out. So <clears throat> just, you know, grit your teeth, deep breath, pull your big girl panties up and just get on with it. Because, like I say, things aren't going to improve until you do. And finding a way to compromise with other people, 
and talking about things will really help. It hasn't got to be like my way or the highway. You can really kind of work with other people to make sure that it goes as smooth as possible. So just be aware of that over the weekend. Finally, Monday and Tuesday, we have the two of Raphael cards. Nice card to finish on after all that drama. Again, emotional situation, but this is definitely 100% my lovelies to do with your love life. If you've been single for a while um, and have been wishing again and asking for someone lovely to come in, this is a really positive omen about that. This shows that there is someone new for you coming up very, very soon. If it's not within Monday and Tuesday, it certainly ain't far off. There's somebody fantastic coming in with who you can have real romantic connection and they feel like they're your, they're your soulmate and kindred spirits and it's all like flowers and hearts and romance and la 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 la. It's beautiful and well deserved, of course. Um, if you're in a relationship already, there is that feeling that, you know, growing closer and having that intimacy and that connection again so it's very much a kind of being in love and being feeling like you're completely bowled over with it all on a side note brackets because <laughs> this is worth mentioning because some of us you know it just doesn't happen and that's okay because this card can also mean friendships that have the same kind of feeling not the intimacy bit although you know that's your business <laughs> but that feeling of having someone in your life who really is there for you and supports you and you know really just is 100% there for you and you are there for them so yes it's very much about love and forgiveness and communication and not giving up on people and welcoming love into your life but love can take many different forms so certainly just be aware and be open to what comes in and welcome it with open arms and like I say you know if there has been any conflict or issues this is a really good time to have positive resolution forgiveness is key understanding that people are not superheroes they are human beings who are fallible and make mistakes and forgiveness on both sides can heal a lot of bridges so yeah it's a really interesting week isn't it we've got love and then we've got issues and then we've got love again so you know if you can get through the weekend and make that decision it will be nice again on the other side so it's all positive in the long run as always my darling beautiful people if you need me you know where to find me i'm on facebook under little white feathers uh, so any guidance you're looking for and all the details are on there about my angel workshop in September So check it out and get in contact if you need me I'm sending you lots and lots of love from my heart to yours Mwah. Have a brilliant week and take care of yourselves. Bye